Eliminating lag or stuttering on a computer can be a real unique problem to fix. From too many apps running on Windows startup to more complicated things like pushing CPUs and memory beyond their limits, it can be an ordeal. Every problem should have a solution. And if you have a toolkit available to fix a problem, wouldn't you want to use the right tools for the job? In the event something goes wrong, you should have a backup of your documents, pictures, videos, and anything you consider important. Use external media storage such as an external hard drive or online cloud services from Google or Microsoft are good options. For extra precautions, backing up the entire drive with apps such as EasyOS Partition Manager and Arcona CyberProtect can be the play. In practice, this should be done when you have Windows set up to how you want it. I'll include links to the apps in the description. Taking pictures of your settings with your phone can help too. System Restore can help, but it doesn't always work. That's why disk backup utilities are a better fit. If you want to control apps running on Windows Startup, Auto Runs is a great choice. Did I neglect to mention this app is free? Auto Runs will show everything running on Windows Startup. I'll include a link in the description. Think of this as a quick tutorial on how to use Auto Runs. We'll focus on startup apps, scheduled tasks, and services. When you use Auto Runs for the first time, make sure it's running as an administrator. In the app's title bar, it will display in brackets, Administrator. If you run Auto Runs and it's not running as an administrator, you can fix this by going to File and choose Run as Administrator. Let's go to the Logon tab. This tab will list apps and some important things that run on Windows Startup. The apps on Startup will be in two specific sections. The sections will end with backslash run. For context, the first line starts off with HKCU. This is the current user signed onto Windows. This is you. In this example, Microsoft Edge is running on Startup when I log onto the computer. If you have a line starting off with HKLM, this is anyone on the PC. They will always have the same apps running on startup. In this example, Adobe Creative Cloud and an Adobe CCX process will always start when anyone signs onto the computer. Make sense? Ideally, no additional apps should run on startup. Therefore, I will uncheck Microsoft Edge from startup. Removing the checkmark disables the app from running on startup. However, some apps like Adobe CCX process should remain if you intend to use Adobe apps like Photoshop or Premiere on your PC. Every PC is different. If you're uncertain, you can always disable an app, test it out, and if the app doesn't work, well, you can always come back to this section and recheck the app. Let's move on to the Schedule Tasks tab. Here we find apps that can run in the background on your PC. Usually it's apps like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge checking for app updates. You may find other things like telemetry apps which send data to Microsoft. We're going to disable Google Chrome by unchecking these apps. You'll notice OneDrive has a yellow line through it. This indicates the app has been deleted. However, I will uncheck these lines just in case Microsoft silently reinstalls OneDrive without my permission. I don't trust Microsoft and you never know if a Windows update reinstalls OneDrive. By leaving OneDrive disabled, OneDrive will not run if OneDrive is reinstalled. Just like with the Logon tab, any task can be re-enabled by placing a checkmark back to the corresponding app. Finally, on to the Services tab. By default, Auto Runs will display non-essential services. Some services such as Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge updates can be disabled without a problem. If you disable services such as gaming services and Thunderbolt, you can run into problems. Disabling critical services can cause your PC not to boot into Windows. It's important to research services before disabling them. Use caution while making changes in this section. Sometimes it's better to stick with the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. When you're done, close auto runs. Any changes will take effect when you reboot your PC. System File Checker or SFC is a Windows app that checks for problems with Windows files on your computer. To run the app, run command prompt as an administrator. You can get to the command prompt from the search button by typing CMD and then choose run as administrator. In command prompt, type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter. Running this app can take several minutes. If a problem was detected, SFC will state the problem was repaired. If the issue can't be fixed, 
this is a sign Windows might need to be reinstalled. You can also run a dsim command to repair Windows. Restart the PC after running the SFC command before you use the dsim command. If you don't restart your PC, dsim can take a very long time to complete. dsim, also known as Deployment Image Servicing and Management, allows you to repair an existing installation of Windows. After rebooting your PC, run command prompt as an administrator. To run a dsim repair in Windows, run the following command dsim space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and press enter. This should restore any corrupt or missing files in Windows. If there's still a problem after running this command line, you can run dsim and use your Windows install image as its source. If you don't have a copy of the Windows image, you can always use Microsoft's media creation tool and put the files on a USB stick. I'll include a link to the media creation tool in the description. Please refer to the media creation tool image instructions to put it on a USB stick. To use the Windows install image as the source, run the following command in command prompt as an administrator. dsim space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health space forward slash source. After source, you will need to put in a colon followed by the drive letter and the exact location of the Windows image. If you followed the media creation tool instructions and use a USB stick, you can put in the drive letter followed by the installation directory and the install file. To find out the exact path, open Windows Explorer or File Explorer. The USB stick drive should have a little Windows picture like this. In my case, it is drive I. Let's open the drive. Now, let's go to the sources folder. Scroll down until you see an install file. You should see the file listed as install.esd or install.wim. If for some reason you cannot find or see the file extension, in other words, you can only see install without the esd or wim at the end, right click on the file and go to properties. In the row type of file, you will see the file extension. It should be either an ESD file or a WIM file. Make note of this as you will need to put this in as part of the source line. Let's go back to command prompt as an administrator. Put in dsim space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health space forward slash source colon, the drive letter, colon, backslash, sources, backslash, install.esd or install.wim. In my case, it's I, colon, backslash, sources, backslash, install.esd. Press enter. This can take several minutes. If there was a problem before, the dsim repair should fix the issue. If there's still an error after dsim was run, then there's a more significant problem with Windows on your PC. You may need to reinstall Windows to correct the problem. If you use the media creation tool and made a USB stick, you are ready to reinstall Windows. Just make sure to back up everything and boot from your BIOS, choose the USB stick to reinstall and then follow those instructions. If you don't know how to do this, check online or check with a tech friend. If this video has helped you, consider giving it a like. If you have ideas on future videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to see future videos. Follow me on X and Twitch for updates. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you later.